for 25 years or longer, I've been on a personal growth and development journey. And I've been an avid student, lifelong learner. I take lots of notes, record conversations, make text messages to myself, read the books, go to the masterminds, hire the coaches, all the things, right? And finally, it kind of hit me around the time that I met Jeff Woods and started to lean into the models that he was teaching me in terms of how do you get to the next level that you're, that you're wanting to grow to. When all the things came together, I really asked myself, what's the bottom line? What are all the books teaching? What are all the masterminds going over? Like if you could just reduce it into the top steps, what are they? And basically it came down to four. One, if you want, and I call it living the good life. What is the good life? The good life is just the life that you want to live. It's your life that you have intentionally chosen to de and decided that you want to live. Regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your past, you get to decide the future that you want to live. Whatever that is, that's your good life. And so to live the good life, you got to know what you want. You have to have clarity around your purpose and your desired future self. So simple hack to do that. Close your eyes and let me ask you a series of questions. Let's pretend that I haven't seen you in the last five years. And all of a sudden we run into each other. And I say, Alexi, how is life treating you? How are you doing? And you answer that question by saying, Wyatt, I have to slap myself every single hour because I can't believe this is the life that I get to live. It feels like a dream. What's happening to your passive income for you to give me that answer? How much money is in your bank account? How much passive income do you have? What about your job? Do you even have a job? What about your physical health? How is it? Your blood pressure, your body fat. Can you run a marathon, right? For you to say that you're living your best life. What about your key relationships, your personal hobbies, your business, your finances, all those things. Like I start asking people those questions. Most people don't have an answer. And that's why most people will live lives of average not because they can't get what they want, simply because they haven't decided what it is that they want. So just asking the question, what does your good life look like? What does your desired future self look like? That's step one. That's step one of what all the books are teaching you, right? And if they're not teaching you that, they assume that you already have the answer. So you have to know what you want. Step two is relationships or everything. You got to get into relationships with people who are already living the life that your desired future self has. Step three is your environment. There is no greater influence on your behaviors than your physical environment. So what are the behaviors that you need to become habits that build your desired future self? Whatever those behaviors are, you need to design your environment to support those behaviors. And then the fourth thing is community. Find a community, find your tribe of your people, of the uh, of the people that are like-minded, because it's one thing to have a relationship with one person or five people, but it's another whenever you're part of a community of all those people, right, that are on the same playing field as you or higher that can allow you to be exposed to more conversations, more ideas, and that accelerates the rate at which you can grow. And then the plus one is productivity tools and hacks, right? So it's clarity of your future self, relationships, environment, community, and then figuring out the productivity hacks, the tools and the resources that actually help drive your accountability on a daily basis. And we teach and coach all those inside of the Mentee podcast and the Mentorship Mastermind community. Clarity of future self. And yes. a lot of people think that their identity... All your identity is, is the recurring story that you tell yourself, the narrative. And most people's story, most people's narrative that they tell themselves is rooted in their past. I am this way because of all the things that have occurred in my past, when really our identity is the recurring story that we tell ourselves, and we can rewrite that story anytime we want to. And we can write the story of our desired future self and start to rehearse that story today. And that's how we have identity change, right? But all of that speaking to clarity of your desired future self, clarity of your purpose. And so most people have trauma and it's easier to remember our past than to imagine our future. And so people stay stuck, but that's why clarity around what you want is so important. And if you don't have clarity, then you don't have to do number one to get to number two. No, 
your desired future self has clarity of their desired future self, right? So go find other people and environments that provoke clarity of your desired future self. Whatever it is that you need, go find people and your environment and a community that fosters whatever it is you need, even if that need is to get through step one, which is finding clarity. If it's to make new relationships, that's what the mentee is all about, helping you understand how to create new relationships. So you don't have to know how to do all this. You just figure out what's the one thing that you need and you go find other people that are already doing it, right? Whether it's clarity or relationships or environment, right? People that are creating environments that are conducive to productivity, communities, right? Whatever it is, it all falls under the, the bottom line of success, right? Which is what we talk about at the Mentee.